Hello, and welcome to this instructional video. Today, we will demonstrate the procedure for administration of an intramuscular injection. Please note, this is only the procedure. For more information on preparing for the procedure and post-procedure, please watch the Principles of Medication Administration video and refer to 15.10, Intramuscular Injection and the Nursing Care Manual of Procedures. Before administration, the medication will need to be prepared and drawn up. Then, you need to assess the condition of the patient's skin, the muscle mass, amount of surrounding fat at the potential injection site. Choose the most appropriate injection site. Injection sites should be chosen based on the amount of medication to be injected, the thickness of the medication, the size of the muscle, and the age of your patient. Once your site is selected, determine if it would be helpful to position the patient to better expose the injection site and or to immobilize the patient to prevent harm to the patient or healthcare provider. See Annex 2 for assisted positions while administering an intramuscular injection to pediatric patients, also found in Chapter 15.10 intramuscular injections in the nursing care procedures manual. Now, we perform hand hygiene as we are about to begin a procedure. Consider giving analgesia in the form of oral sucrose solutions if your patient is an infant zero to six months old. For medication administration, use appropriate antiseptic solution to disinfect the skin of the injection site. For a vaccination, if the skin is visibly dirty, clean the injection site with clean water and soap. Otherwise, swabbing clean skin is not necessary. There are two methods that can be used. The Z-Track method for medication administration and the non-Z-Track method for vaccinations. But before we begin, remove the cover from the needle and assess the needle head using a non-touch technique to detect any faulty equipment. Method one, the Z-Track method is used when injecting medication into a large muscle to avoid leaking of the medication into the layers of subcutaneous tissue and seals the medication into the muscle. With the non-dominant hand, displace the skin and subcutaneous tissue two to three centimeters sideways to begin the Z-Track method. Keep the non-dominant hand in place throughout the injection. With the dominant hand, hold the needle at an angle of 90 degrees. Inform the patient, then quickly insert the needle using a dart-like motion into the skin. Aim to inject where your non-dominant fingertips had originally been and until about a quarter of the needle is left showing. Method two for vaccination administration. With the non-dominant hand, stretch the skin at the injection site with your thumb and forefinger. Do not touch the injection site. With the dominant hand, hold the needle at an angle of 90 degrees, inform the patient, then quickly insert the needle using a dart-like motion into the skin. For both methods, once the needle is in place, Depress the plunger at a rate of one mil every 10 seconds while slowly injecting the medication. If using the dorsal gluteal site, pull back the plunger and ensure there is no blood aspirated. If there is none, continue to inject at a rate of one mil every 10 seconds. If blood aspirated, do not inject the medication. After waiting 10 seconds, Rapidly withdraw the needle at the same angle of injection while releasing the skin and subcutaneous tissue with the non-dominant hand. Apply cotton ball or a plaster and apply gentle pressure over any bleeding sites. However, do not massage the injection site as this may force the medication to displace into the surrounding tissue. Congratulations. You have now completed an intramuscular injection. If you need further clarification, please refer to 15.10, Intramuscular Injection, 
in the Nursing Care Manual of Procedures. Additionally, do not hesitate to contact your supervisor, the medical or technical reference, or the training team. Thank you.